too. Uh, so there is a museum. This is one that should have been up for last week with, uh, with Brian Crawford of pghmuseums.org. To give them a plug. Um, so there is a museum that got banned um, from TikTok for posting nudes. It's the artwork, guys. And uh, so they started an OnlyFans account <laughs> so they could put whatever artwork, no matter how. Uh, yeah, Vienna, Vienna laid bare was one of the features uh, as part of this. Uh, a smart use of an alternative. Oh, we're going to get, there's a lot of nudity in this article. And we're, uh, uh, yep, no, now, now it's, now we're going to get banned, I'm sure. Uh, so I shouldn't dive too much in that video, probably. Uh, so, so what do you guys think of this, uh, interesting use of, uh, but these guys would have been affected if they would have deprecated nudity in OnlyFans like they were talking about a month ago, right? I thought the, I thought the, yeah, I don't know if they would have. I don't know what the, with the ruling, would, would they have would they have cracked down on it as hard with these guys as TikTok did, right? No, but I wonder well, what's going to happen. Like as we see other social networks kind of struggling mm -hmm. or potential, I, I wonder like what would happen if everyone just started joining OnlyFans just as a social network. Uh, are you saying that we need to launch our awesome cast only fans? Well, it would be interesting though, right? Just to see what happens. Like, cause it's kind of like, for me, like chill, to me, like chill, I've only already... fans made it because I'm with you. I'm with you. And because I'm... Patreon, Patreon pissed off a bunch of people. That's right. We could do it. And it wasn't like, and it's not, you know from what? my understanding, Chilla, it, it's, that's not the only thing over there. I've already started one uh, potentially naughty experiment this week. Um, I'm going to start an OnlyFans account and see what happens. See what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll just run it like we do our Patreon and we'll see if it helps. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe we'll be, we'll put awesome cast after dark on there. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I Go ahead, Amanda. I, I really just don't understand why these apps aren't writing in the code of how to verify somebody's age. Like, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I understand okay. not wanting to turn over your personal information of like your license number or something like that, but there's got to be a way to verify their age in order to like make the image appear well, you what know you, what i mean like there's uh, got to be something well like you, a, remember what porn sites used to do to verify because remember the credit card i don't know yeah maybe, maybe it's just me because i was a teenager at the time um you know some you know years ago um but uh yeah you would go to a site <laughs> Oh, geez. Um, I shouldn't seem as knowledgeable about this on air as I am. Uh, you go to a site, and in order to enter, you had to enter a credit card. It wasn't necessarily to pay for anything, but it was just for verification purposes. And I'm sure it was on the up and up. I'm using a lot of quotation fingers at this point. Um, so, you know, as a, uh, you know, a uh, ambitious 17 year old you'd you'd run into that block every once in a while right uh so um but and, and it seems like it all just kind of fell away i don't know if that was just like them trying to uh uh, uh get ahead of you know being being cracked down on by the government at that point you know these uh these these uh uh oh, what do you call it these uh this uh, uh lewd laws or whatever you call them um that that that, that, that they'll try to do you know same they have the yes damn it sorg boobies are everywhere yes um <laughs> in the chat but now room. but but nowadays i mean back then they didn't have like disposable debit cards you could pick up at that's true cvs that's true that anyone can go get one of those gift cards now. Like that needs to then why maybe I'll detect, hey, this isn't a credit card. We can tell that this is a non, you know, verified card. We didn't have debit cards then or anything like that. It had to been a credit yeah. card and you had to be eighteen at the time, right? So Yeah, I wonder if it's more about the do they want I'm guessing there's additional insurance or if you were keeping scans of people's driver's license and you get breached. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's bad. Oh yeah. Like I can't, I can't replace my identity. No, like that's no. that's one of those. That's like that's like if you kept my social security number on record. Why it's a bad idea like, to that's keep a, your? That's your, not fun to change. Why it's an idea so, to link your thumb and your eye prints to 
your security because if that gets breached, now you're done, right? Right. right. So can't change your fingerprints. Sorry. I just I, sorry, clear. I also question how good their algorithm or their QA people are. Like, you know what I mean? Are the yeah. people who like yeah. look after those sites? Yeah. Like, are they not like credibly looking? Or did somebody actually uh, report the museum? Oh, we're talking like, about the museum. Did. So we're talking about TikTok. Uh, yeah, maybe like, they, I think it got reported. I, I think people, people, I'm sure it got reported by some crazy person. Yeah, yeah, they just people that doesn't like, like art. I, but I don't and like somebody should have researched that. Like, I feel like this should mm -hmm. be the one of those instances that if you're getting reported, it should be researched. Mm -hmm. Like, I understand Instagram is hugely behind when you report. Like, I think I'm just now getting stuff from like January, but they're, but they're like, a, shutting down, accounts. but they're a giant entity. And so is TikTok, right? right? At scale, but they're either not doing it fast enough, or they aren't hiring enough people to do it. Right. Um, I honestly, I, I'm of the opinion that I don't think you can hire enough people to handle the problems these platforms are dealing with. I, like, not, yeah, I agree. Like the, the I don't, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. That that's just the people. The people power is not the answer. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's an attempt to say we're doing something. And actually get a human eyes on it as much as possible to try to circumvent the damage. AI doesn't work because it over it over you know extends. We saw that with everything that was getting pulled down, uh, 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 you know, two summers ago, and uh, and a lot of our friends getting kicked off of uh, 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 you know wrestling stuff and uh, just a uh, content ID on YouTube as a whole, right? So um, so so there's that. Let's go to the other side of this um, now that we know that I'm starting an OnlyFans tonight for this the show. Um, how about how do you make it on Pornhub, Chilla? I don't know. Apparently, what do you do. Apparently, if you're a calculus teacher, uh, you you just put your you just teach hard math over on Pornhub. He, these, Are they shirtless? No, there's nothing. <laughs> nope. it, it is just so so. He does. He is selling. Uh, I believe he was saying uh, when I was reading the article, it was uh, uh he's selling like like. Calculus lessons is what he's doing. So the idea is it's going to drive you to another site. It's one of those kind of things, right? But generally, he just said, you know, hey, maybe some people will want to learn math on, like, people are here. I, I, this, I love the philosophy. People are on this platform. Let's throw some math at them was basically his philosophy. And he tried other uh, pornography platforms, but Pornhub was the only one that would allow him to dish out some hard math. Um, so uh, so with that, I would like to announce uh, pending, pending approval for uh, allowing uh, partner program uploads, uh, we do have an awesome cast uh, account on Pornhub.com right now. So... Um, I want to say don't friend it because I don't want to see what you're into necessarily. Um, <laughs> so I feel like that could get awkward. Um, so my plan for the awesome cast one is to strictly follow innocuous accounts like the calculus guy in the meantime. But other than that, I'm going to put clip. If, if I'm allowed, I'm going to put clips up and see what happens. Yeah, why not? We, we a little bit like this is where, this is where I, I totally agree. Like, Mm -hmm. If you can expand your fan base yes. by merely just post reposting post to yet another on a very network, a very populated and and you go you could call it the TikTok for porn. I don't know, and uh, and a very technology forward company. <laughs> so why not insert a little hard tech news in there as well, uh, Amanda? It goes back to what we used to teach in social media marketing 101. You go where your customers are. Listen, I already That's had the experience where my professional wrestling clips wound up on there. Okay. Because before they crack down, now you have to be a certified partner or model program or something like that. Um, anybody could upload anything to it, right? And that led to, hey, we're just up uploading everything, you know, to this thing. And who knows? And between copyright, you know, you know, copyright content and the underage problem and everything like that, right? So, so there was a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> so that was that had nothing to do with the site's title. Um, it was awkward as the awesome cast. It asked me my preferences. And I just kind of left them open. 
Uh, so it was, it was, it was, it was, it was really, yeah, it was weird to be like, I'm not here for this reason, but I'm still here, you know, kind of thing. But so there you go. Look up uh, that and let's see, actually, I'll, I'll see if my, um, well, I shouldn't do this with the window open because even going to the site is NSFW. Is there an SFW like Pornhub? Like, is there like the less naughty hub or something, you know? <laughs> Like, I think it's Twitch, and you're already there. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch is getting naughty. I, I, I like open. I open it up to like like check on my feed the other day, and like the entire recommended was like, there's a lot of cleavage going on. I was like, wow, I, we are leaning, we are leaning hard into this. So yeah, I don't normally go on Twitch unless, and I have an account because I've done um, the fundraiser mm -hmm. where you play video games Extra um, life. for a little. Yeah, I've done Extra Life. So I, I have an account to Twitch. I barely ever go on it. But the other night, Rick Seaback was playing vinyl. No. And, <laughs> yeah, he plays it at the Independent. And in, uh, in, uh, Alternative Histories caught it and um, <laughs> put it up on his on his Twitter feed. Mm -hmm. And so I tuned in to watch Rick Seaback spin vinyl on Twitch. But I was like... But I, it, the same thing. I was like, man, there's everything on here now. Like, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. It's not just video games. I didn't anymore. know. I, I didn't Everybody know there there was a hard Pittsburgh uh, contingent on there. So, but of course there is, right? 